play partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated mode. Hunting, analyzing, sharing subject locations with other agents. I'm gonna repair your Seamoth even though it doesn't need repairing. Don't, don't, ah. don't touch my Seamoth. Ah. Never touch oh my, my Seamoth. What happened to your body then? Alright, so. So we show the people at home what you've just learned. Because yes. it's, uh, it's quite it's quite the uh, advancement and we needed it. I don't, it I don't like that you're saying that, that what I've learned because I did this to your Seamoth, but you can blame me if your blow up now. No, no. I don't no. like that. Have... You're going to say, Fisk, what did you do? That's what you're going to say. That's what you're, <laughs> that's... I have full faith in you. So uh... for everybody at home. We've played, and uh, it's been pretty painful because the mod isn't playing ball with us at the moment. We kind of expected it. Obviously, it's not, like, properly fleshed out. It's not intended for the game. People have been nice enough to make this for people to use. So we're not going to, like, rip the mod to pieces. But there are some issues that we've come across. One of them is that the Seamoth seems to be very, very bugged. So we've tried to find a way around that. And what we'll say is it's magic. It's magic. <laughs> to get yeah. that. But what we're not going to be doing is skipping out on the things that we need for the Seamoth. So things like the upgrade modules and stuff like that, which is what we're going to talk about next. Because Fist has found mm. out a way to get it, which is, what was it called again? The something, a vehicle um, upgrade console? So, uh, if you remember, well, you remember, obviously, but the people at home, uh, we tried to go down deep. What was yep. it? Up to, after 200 meters with yep. the Seamoth, it didn't work. So we need to upgrade it. It's, uh, upgrade it so it goes down to 300 meters yeah, it doesn't and get that uh, crushing depth yep in here i uh, found the seamoth depth module mk1 i already uh, crafted mine yeah so enhances so, safe diving depth and does not stack so it only takes a titanium ingot and two glass which is quartz so yeah you've already put one in mine haven't you oh wait yeah no that one's mine over there isn't it yeah yeah so i've yours. renamed You're, mine whoa, as well wait. yeah i want to name one mine as well seamoth uh what should i name it Beef moth? I don't know. Beef? Uh, we'll, just, we'll just call it beef. beef. Do something original. Beef? People, uh, everyone's at home's watching you now for something super original. Uh, <laughs> see you type it. Just uh, beef. That's fine. <laughs> that's it. The beefy sub. Ooh. See, you missed. You've missed so many opportunities there for a cool name for your sub. Now I want something else. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> I can type it. Yeah, you can. Stop it! I don't want it. Yeah, there you go. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's going to be it. Oh, the trash sub? I bet yeah. you any money that thing survives all the way through this series Everything, now. Everything, yes. Right, so but now you... You can see it. Do you see it saying yeah, on the I side? Yeah, I do. Yeah, it says trash. It's absolutely oh, trash. That's perfect. Are can you, you put um... that in uh, caps, please? <laughs> I'll put it in caps. Have you got the uh, upgrade module that you want to yeah. use? So you just click on those and then click and drag. And there you go. Trash depth now 300 meters. You got it? Yeah. The trash! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. Look at it. it looks so much it, better. It's like is alien there language. Is something else we can upgrade it with? Let's have a quick we, look at the uh, the upgrades that we can get again. So we've got the... Did we find any diamonds? Yeah, we found two. Or one. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. I found one and you found one. Yeah, so we should have yeah. two. Seamoth perimeter defense system generates a localized electric field designed to ward off aggressive fawn. Oh, we could Ooh. be getting that. The torpedoes, I know about those. And the sonar. Oh, the sonar is so cool. What does it take to get that? That's Cop a magnetite. Magnite. Magnetite. Wait, is it magne magnite? <laughs> magnetite. Yeah, magnetite. So yeah. we need to find that. We haven't found that yet. So all that aside, we've upgraded our Seamoths. And this is what we got to do today. We've got to go back to the Big Island first because we keep getting told there is a PDA over there that we missed. And you mm -hmm. know Paul, Marguerite, and Bart? Apparently, yeah, yeah. there's a PDA which explains a lot of their story, so Ooh, the whole Degassi so thing. We missed the whole, like, uh, the most important thing. Yeah, so we're, we're going to have to All scan right. the uh, the Big Island for, for some some kind of PDA that we missed somewhere. I don't know where it will be, but, you know, we, we can have a little look over there. And then once we've done that, we need to have a look at see if we can make the stasis rifle. Because... The stasis? What, what does that do? Is that the one that repels them? Uh, no, that... Oh, I don't know. No, the propulsion rifle should be the one that oh. propels them away. Um, the stasis rifle freezes them while, I guess, scientists oh. examine the stuff. So remember yeah. a while ago when you mentioned about the Reaper? Can you freeze it? I think you can. Yeah. You've just got to be really accurate and hit it right in the head. <laughs> um, Ooh. 
So we got to do that today because I'm sure you've had it from peeps too saying it's time to go into the Aurora. So mm, yes, yes. that's the plan for today. We're not going to bite off more than we can chew because, as we've said, if there's any like, like weird stuff that happens for anyone viewing, it's because we're trying to work around the mod a little bit. It's the only way we can get to it was in Subnautica. So we've, we, we, you know, we take the good with the bad. But are you ready to go? I think I am. I'm a little bit nervous because we need to go to that pod, right? And that's it's pretty deep. Wait, wait. Do you want to go to the the the, the Keen's pod? I think uh, we well, actually going to go above captain. it now when we're going towards the island. Oh yeah, let's way. go there then on the way. Let's go there now then. Oh so, now? Yeah, because we're, it's it's on the way, isn't it? I don't know where the island is first. I've forgotten. Oh, it's, uh, it's just, shrouded, uh, isn't this it? This way, just straight ahead. Right. You want? You said as well. Stay away from the uh, the vines. Uh, stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Good call. I was about to go straight through them. Also, real quick, if anybody watching the video is either on your video first or mine, if you guys notice there's like a random sea moth that's popped up out of nowhere, basically what's happened is with the previous episode where Fisk saw his sea moth explode, and I obviously didn't if anyone watched my video, you'll, you'll notice that when we got back to the base, there was one there, but now there isn't. There's two. We've had to make another one. So there'll always be one extra one due to, I think it's like a desync issue or something like that. It's Yeah, it's probably desync. That's what, it can, uh, what I can recognize it as. Yeah. Or that the mod is actually an alpha. Again, it's not a big deal. It's just in case anyone's like, wait a minute, why have they got 16 C mods going there? <laughs> it We're might not actually end up like yeah. that, you know? We're not trying to pull anything <laughs> funny. It's just so we obviously we can keep... Oh, we can keep things going. Oh, fish actually damage your sea moth. Oh! You just called me fish. No, I just hit the... <laughs> I'm panicking really hard. Fish. I just hit the uh, the bottom of the, of the seabed. Are you still seeing me traveling normal right now, by the way? <laughs> oh, God. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you gone? Right, this, is, this is what you call the sink. The, that's the problem. This is why they do explode. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> Don't come you too close to me. Oh, no, no. Okay, right. Are we are we going down? Good, right, I'm good. going down. Yeah, let's go down. Oh, we oh no! Should be able to. Oh, I'm stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm like caught on something. Yeah. Uh, Is this what happened think, to you? Oh yeah, I thought that was the vines. It's not then. So just go out and jump in again. Okay, okay. My sea moth just put the handbrake on, dude. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, there we let's go. Let's see. All right. Hopefully, it's not going to explode. That oh, can happen. Remember. I could fully understand why you freaked out as hard as you yeah. did. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look, there we go. There's the, there's the other sea moth. Look. Well, Wait, at least I see, it. I see it on my screen. Oh, it's in a bad way, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's not looking good. I, can, I can't see it on mine. This is why we have problems like this that we have to work around. So, Right, so now we're at 200. Do you want to go down this side? Ooh, dude, I'm terrified, I got to say. it's uh, So now we're actually going into caves? Oh, yeah, we are. Uh, Switch to comms, I guess. Check, check, check. Hello? Hello, hello. Alright, you go first, dude. Oh, no! No, no, no! <laughs> you gotta go first! <laughs> oh, but them's the rules. Okay, you know what? I do. Uh, Fisk, 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 come here. Yeah? What the hell is that? There's a. Wait, what? Warning. That's so. Maximum depth reached. Okay, Hold wait. Down oh, oh, oh. That's 300 meters. Careful, careful. Wow, that's nothing! Hold on. I'm gonna repair my uh, sea moth real quick. Hold on. Try and uh, try and keep on top of repairing it though, okay? Because I don't know if. Mm -hmm. Ooh, because we're so low down, the oxygen efficiency is yeah. Alien vent. Wait, so there we go. Alien vent. I'm gonna read about that now. Oh. Okay, it says. These vents connect to an ancient piping network that extends beyond maximum scannable depth. The pumping system is still functional. Inflow, uh, sorry, the inflow vent is drawing water from the surrounding area and pumping it to an unknown location below the surface. Oh, can I actually get sucked into this? <laughs> Try it, dude, if you disappear. Imagine. Most creatures are avoiding vents. Peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe. Further research required. Oh my god, that's a wait, so there's a facility down there. Yeah, how how would we Oh imagine if Keen is actually in that facility then? Where's his beacon? Oh, oh it's, it's over just there. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get it. Because it's just straight in front in front of us. Famous last words, we should be able to get it. Uh keep an eye on um, 
on the height or the depth. Sorry. I uh. I can't get to him really. Oh wait. Oh yeah, we can. Fist, come to me. Oh. <laughs> Come to me! Oh, look, I don't like it when you turn around like this. Look straight, look straight down there. Oh. Be on the lookout on the walls too for anything that looks different. You know, for that magnetite or something. Yeah. Oh, we got something right there. This thing? Uh, I think it's yes, yeah, some uh, sort of diamond. I'm on let it. Me, let me check that. Oh, you mean somewhere else? Okay, I don't know what that was. Copper or gold or something? Uh, ruby. Ruby, nice. Lithium. What are these? You see oh, these here it is. Stock? Right, you uh, you see the pod, right? This is 19? Yeah. We've got a data bank here. Uh, data box, sorry, not data bank. High capacity ultra tank. Ultra high! Ca oh, ultra high! <laughs> that's great! That's great! Say again! So that's the better... <laughs> ultra high capacity. <laughs> Location uploaded to PDA. Right, jump in the same and we'll have the read of this. Yep. Oh yeah, I never left, dude. Integrate a new PDA data. Right. Uh, alien survivors, life pod 19. Okay, so... To all crew, if you are reading this, then you follow the automatic distress signal broadcast by the life pod's onboard computer. Contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. Oh. Oh, so uh, that's gonna be the island then? Must be. Must be. Uh, yeah. That's, that's a huge upgrade that we just got, by the way. Ultra yeah, that's high. Great. Let's have a look at it. Where is that? Wait, so that should be in the blueprints, right? Yeah, where would we make that, though? In the fabricator? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's got like two on it. Lithium. Wait, Wait lithium. We can get lithium too pretty easily. Uh, lithium. Let's see, I can't <laughs> find it. I'm so bad at finding a <laughs> shot. If you scroll up, you'll see the little yellow icon on it. You know what? I'll probably just scroll through it. I, uh... Wait, do I need to go down there and get it, do you think? Uh, yeah, just do it just in case, I guess. Yep. Oh, damn, it was right behind the wreck all along. I, mean, I got all of this stuff right. This is where we we should see the floaters, right? You're a floater. Hey! <laughs> Dude, what's this? What do you say? It's like uh, this tip of the tops that's underneath it is... Oblin. Debris, you're just falling from them. Oh, dude! Oh, that's dark down there. Do you remember? I think we can go underneath here. Into, the, you know, the hole in the middle of the island? Fisk. Yeah? Come to me immediately. Coming? Wait till you see this. Dude, you're so far down. I'm about 233 down. Wait till you see this, you're gonna be blown away. This is so cool. Whoa, what's that? New biome. Keep an eye on your depth. Can you scan those holes? Mm. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. It's called oh. Anchor Pod. Anchor Pods? Oh, wow! Fisk! Oh my god, what's that? Wait, it's three of them! What is it? Oh, what, that's so cool! Wait, scan them, yes? Oh, you, you've got to do that, dude. It's asking you to do it. Whoa, that's so weird looking! Oh, wait, I don't actually know if I have my scanner. Coming close, there, dude. Coming off comms, hold on. Can you scan them? I gotta uh, go back to my CMOD. I've gotta go get some air. Yep. I'm gonna try to scan it. Okay. Going in from behind. <laughs> sea Treater. Oh, sea Treader. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, yeah, Sea Treader Leviathan. It is a Leviathan. That's so cool looking. 
I, I love the fact that not all of them are actually aggressive. That's yeah. so cool. Yeah, that's the second non-aggressive one, isn't it? Because we had the, uh, the reef back. What did it say about them? Uh, oh, off the other's it. gone. Oh, they've walked away. They've left this one on his own. Oh. I just touched it, so maybe that just made them cast that one out. Oh, dude, I wonder if... Because you've got a bacteria on you now. I wonder if they oh. do. They sense that. Oh, do you think I gave it to Stank? Yeah, you gave it to Stank. You gave it all your dirty infection. <laughs> oh, yeah, you definitely scanned that one. Oh, that's so cool. I've never that seen is, them uh, before, really, by the way. Really cool. Like, I've never ever seen them before. They were they were definitely not there when I... Uh, it looked like they were going around, like, eating from the, uh, just, like, bottom. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a look at what the uh, indigenous life form and then fauna, leviathans, sea treader leviathan. A vast bipedal leviathan which roams the reefs in herds grazing the sea floor. Uh, antennae. Antennae on the creature's head can detect a range of scents, helping the sea, tre uh, sea treaders to find fresh grazing pastures. Avoid the path of the large predators and sense chemical signatures from others of their kind. Oh, it's the way they communicate. Does that uh, mean that uh, if they can sense other dangerous stuff, that we're safe when we're around them? Did you just hear that, Fisk? No. That was legit like something out of War of the Worlds. Like, just, just stay at my level here and just look down at them and listen. Oh, look at them. Oh, there we go. Behavior. Large herds will decimate the flora of a single area, thus encouraging yep. the sea treaders' uh, migratory behavior. Can you hear that? Yeah, I hear it. Families oh. keep their young towards the center of the herd, and the, and the parents will lash out over curious interlopes. Oh, like, so like well, wildebeest and elephants and stuff like that, then? Yeah, 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 that's what I thought about, the elephants, when I heard that. I'm going to go and scan this thing and think that, is that a bioreactor or a thermal plant? If that's a thermal plant, dude, we are so good. Yes, we got it. Thermal plant. Yeah, we got it. We got the um, the blueprint for it now. There we go. Nice. This was so good coming here. Oh no, there's a warper there. Oh, <gasps> dude. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. Get in. Let's get out of here. Right, where where do we, where do we need to go? We need to go to the rendezvous point, right? At yeah, the uh, island. Let's, yep. Straight up. All right, I'll see you let's there. Let's go. What are you doing with that bubble tree, dude? Quitting the seeds, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, consume. So, do we have any idea where it can be? Because it feels like we've been uh, around and about on this island. Uh, I have no idea. I guess we'll just search high and low. There was a plant that people were telling us about. Something about a melon plant. Something melon. A melon plant. Apparently, it gives really good food and Wait. hydration. Is it Ming plant? Does Ming sound like melon? I mean, both starts with M? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, a mature flora specimen that will grow if planted in the right condition. We have this uh, Jaffa cake, if you want one. <laughs> you have a Jaffa cake? I'll take a yeah, Jaffa yeah. cake. Yeah, because you're British. See, everything is just a cheap shot with you, isn't it? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> you, you're trying to trigger okay, me. A, ser a serious thing, though. A serious thing. So I've heard with the ah, Jaffa got it, cake. Got it, it's, got it, it's, got it. It's marble, yeah. marble, marble melon. These things. Yeah, I've got them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, with the whole Jaffa cake thing, I've heard that there can be a really hot debates in England if it's a cake or if it's a biscuit. It's a cake. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to cause a war in the comments. <laughs> it's a cake, and I won't have it any other way. It's a cake, 100%. <laughs> what do you think it is, uh, Fisk? I think it's a cake because yeah, it's the softness of it. 100% a cake. Uh, Look, when oh, you say biscuit to me, I think it's like it's crunchy. Yep. You know? Uh, I got the PDA in there. That one we took. We've found how many PDAs? Two or three? Uh. Wait, did we ever go up to that one up there on top? We did, Yeah, we right? did. We did. We did. I'm going to check around the back here because this yep. is like the only area where we didn't really search. Uh, I'll follow this path. Okay. Uh, I'll uh, I'll go uh, comms. Yep. Check check. Hello. Oh, check, got check, one fish. Got one. Right oh, here. Found it. it. Yep. All right. Signal Fast. location uploaded to PDA. You got it. The gassy voice log three. 
Uh, yep, come in. Come to you. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. Yes! All that matters is, <gasps> you got something better. Bear grills, Send Come the down. coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Okay, so wait, is Marguerite saying that got one ready, we take what we can and carry a hunker down in a cave somewhere? I scouted a oh, site a couple cave? of hundred meters deep. It's a couple of hundred meters wait, deep. Is that so below they... us? Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So 250. Oh, we've got the we've got the upgrade for that now, too. So we've, we've already done that. Right, cool. Should we get back to the CMOTs? Yeah, so are we going there then? Uh, the Aurora? Yeah, well, let's I, go I, there I, then. I want to go there, dude. I want to go see yeah, what, where this leads yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> are you excited, Fizz? I'm excited. Let's do it. Yeah, dude, I'm excited. Genuinely, though, because, like, I know, obviously, like, a lot of people have probably played this. Like, a lot of people. But, like, everyone that's still rocking with us and, like, sharing in the fun. And so many people as well not spoiling these episodes. Thank you so much. There were a few. There are a few people who are trying to help, and I, I, we get it, but please, guys, don't tell us what, like, what we need to build or where we should At go to find day, something. This is an open world uh, exploration game, survival. It's, there is no rule how to play it. You take everything in your own pace, and it, you, we're going to get there. Yeah, we will. We'll be a yeah. bit slower, but you have to remember, something that you know, we don't, because we've never experienced it before. But again, the majority of people who are like, this is crazy that, that you, uh, you're you playing it this way, or I've not seen it this way before, or you're, you're blown away by this, wait till yeah. you come across like X and Y, or wait till you see down in the caves. It's so cool that you guys aren't I've spoiling seen it like that. a couple like that. of people that actually got the game to play together with us, yep. like playing alongside. That is so cool. It's amazing, isn't me. it? Yeah, that's really cool. Jump off this. Uh... I'm gonna land on your sea moth. You know that, right? Oh, <gasps> nailed it! <gasps> Boom! <laughs> Do you know what th that, this reminds me of? What? Have you seen the the movie Beach with Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. No, never. Wildlife around this area is so aggressive. Yeah, I just can hear a bunch of roars. We need to kind of slip through a rock here and go straight. Oh, okay. Uh, I can't see the, the gassy stuff though. Are you ready, buddy? It's down here. Oh, shit. Yep, this is gonna get a little bit claustrophobic too. Oh, radiation detected. Put your mask on. I'm good. Alright, coming down. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, I thought that was an eye, dude. Oh, Fisk, 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 just a heads up. I'm not, I don't want you to freak out. There's a creature down here. It's that snake. That we saw before? Yeah, can you see his tail? He's... Oh! oh! It disappeared! It disappeared! Alright. Alright, alright. Get down to the, the... Get down to the unit. Did you see his wow. tail? Whoa! There it is over there! I can't see him. I can't see him, dude. I don't have eyes. Alright, um... Uh, Look for an entry point where we can... Uh, uh, we can get right here. Uh, up here, into possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. That is so cool. We got an entry point right here. This biome support. Oh, you see it? This biome supports predatory life forms, so those things are bad. Where, where oh, is the entry yeah. point? Uh, right up on the tube above. All right, I'll follow you. I'm getting out the uh, the seamoth. Passing 100 uh, meters. Oxygen efficiency All right. decreased. Yeah, the... 200 meters. Wait, 200 Oxygen meters? Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Yeah, I think you need to put on the other mask for this. What mask? Uh, the one that uh, is good for 200 meters. 
Well, <laughs> get back in the signal then, because I don't have it. Oh, you don't have it with you? No. It's all you, that dude. Keep an eye on your O2. I'll keep an, a lookout from the outside. I can't get in right there. Modification oh, station. Me, dude! Oh, what? Jesus! What? What? Oh, the snake, the snake, the snake. Oh, oh. That is absolutely massive! That's enormous! What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Stay I don't close know where to, I'm... Stay close to the thing. Stay close to this. Oh my god! Oh shit. Alright, let me scan this. Modification station. Where are you? Underneath you. Okay. You see an entry point? I thought I did. There's stuff in there, Fisk. Definitely. Whoa. Alright, I, I found it. I'm in top. Oh shit. I see you, buddy. Oh, wait, I see you. I see you. Oh wait, I'm panicking. I need to. I need to breathe. Okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> There's poison in there. What do you mean? There's poison? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I swam into something, man. Oh my lord. <laughs> What do you mean there's poison? Dude, I'm so terrified because I got in there and then I got some sort of poison. I think there is some uh, <laughs> things hanging. There's that a jellyfish. You, touch it, you, get po you get poisoned. It's a jellyfish. Is it a jellyfish? Yeah, they're everywhere. Look. Oh, yeah, that's what it. Okay. Don't All touch right. their barbs. I think right, I should be okay. Uh, I think I can come in. I think so. Yeah. I'm just gonna Keep scan an eye on your, uh, your stuff, though. Look at what I'm scanning. Water filtration machine. Nice! Alright, I'm going in. Because I'm terrified. DDA on the box on your right fist oh. here. You see it? Over here? Sorry? You see the box? The, the PDA on the table? Yep. I'm just gonna heal myself. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. Integrating new PDA data. There's one behind you here too. We got this one. Uh, another one. Yep. Two. New so we got PDA three now. Data. Keep going through the whole Studio thing if you can find something that we can scan. PDA. Yeah. There's another PDA in the far end of the of the facility, Fisk. All right, on my way. This is terrifying, man. You're doing good. You're doing good. Oh, I found a bed. Yeah, you did. We needed that, right? Yeah, we did. We needed the bed. Perfect. <laughs> nice. That means we're going to be able to sleep through the night. Is your O2 good? Uh, yeah, half, halfway down. EDA uh, on the table. Nice, nice. Uh, Integrate new PDA data. I think we got everything then. There's nothing in the lockers or anything? Uh, not what I could see. Okay, I'm just gonna have a look around. Oh, god damn it! Poison. Uh, I'm going up top. Oh, there's a PDA up top. There's a PDA in the observatory thing. Yep. All right, I, I'm gonna grab that and nice. I need to come back. Integrating new PDA data. Good work, man. Well done. That was good. Uh, I think uh, there is another another thing we can get into. Okay, those uh, things seem to be sleeping. We're not just. Just as I said. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, my God, they moved. Good, oh, good. my God, Fisk, what is right here? Oh. I can't see it. I can't see it. I'm so happy about that. Oh, oh my no, God. No, I can't see it. <laughs> so Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Just like a, saw it. Like a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just flailing around, dude. <laughs> I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish, but I stare out of the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a house. <gasps> fish can be attacked! Certainly, oh shit, go, go, go! It's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. 
that the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because Welcome it's fun. Aboard, Captain. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. That's what they are. What they don't eat oh. settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. So they actually in the root of this mushroom right here. So yeah, they hide in the in those the mushrooms. Yeah, and then yeah. Their, their crap fertilizes everything else. Basically, everything feeds everything here. There's always a bigger fish, I it's guess. Is so cool, isn't it? Right. Uh, next one. You ready? Uh, oh. The second one. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She oh. is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat maybe with all this glass we could build a containment unit and get up close to them are you uh are you close by uh yeah i'm behind the mushroom yes yeah, stay here. tucked in because they're everywhere here by the way i don't know if yeah. you've seen them they're kind of like they're going around also did you hear about what they just said about the stalker by the way yeah so i think if so if that theory works we should be able to have metal and then give it to them and they should eat Drop that? their teeth, yeah. Have you ever yeah. seen the stalkers carrying the scrap pieces? That's what it's, it's referencing oh, there. Oh, look at that okay. peeper. That peeper is a different color, by the way. I want to scan it. Uh, we got more uh, PDAs. Do you want to check those now as well? Or yeah, do you well, I want to try and get that? out of this area, dude, because I think those yeah. crab snakes are going to destroy us. Look at that. How cool is that fish? No way. Oculus. Right, well, uh, we'll, we'll go up to the surface and get away from this area, because I need food yep. too, so we should start heading back. Do you want to lead the way out? good. You know where we came from, yep. Oh my god, it's went Are you with me? Yeah, yeah, it's went straight to the uh, thing. Alright, going up. Yep. That was cool though, right? It that was, was uh, really, really cool. Wasn't too scary. Those things are huge though. <laughs> With snacks. Oh. We good? Radiation where you go in here, yeah. We're good, we're good. I didn't get a radiation one. I think it's because I'm wearing that helmet. Right, so we got a lot more lore about the, uh, the, the gassy characters and what happened to them and obviously we got some more upgrades too so oh that's yep. that's so good that we've got all that i wonder if we can get that stasis rifle i'm pretty sure we needed something it might have been that magnetite though i have no i have no idea where so, to get that from uh, we have the next step is the uh, the gassy habitat on 500 meter deep wait another one yeah that Where's just that? updated when we got the pdas it's just down oh, yeah, to the southwest yeah Okay, so uh, we and need also a heat blade. Yeah, I heard about. that. Yeah, yeah, I uh, I heard that. I'll, I'll spoil I'll spoil it a little bit because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I have seen that heat blade and it's amazing. Yeah, it's very very cool. Yeah, so if we can get that at some point, that'd be really really good for it's us like too. Like Jedi things. Uh, <laughs> a what? A Jedi thing? <laughs> that's not what you said. <laughs> no, no, no I, I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> what I said. No, you didn't. <laughs> Partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject location.
connections with other agents. <gasps> Some of that uh, sound. Do you know what that sounded like? Transformers. <laughs> No, 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 no. It, sound, it fully sounded like a Decepticon. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it gave me chills. That was Dude, I, so that cool. scared me, man. That was so sick. Okay, right, before we look at the next one. Oh, wait, have we got another message? No. All right, open the... Uh, the PDA. Yep. And we have the, uh, the the Gassy voice log five. Yeah, let's start there then, pecking order. Oh, Ready? wait, so do you have the fifth one, the sixth one, and then Paul... Four goals, log two, dilemma. Yeah, yeah, so we got one and two, then right. after them two. Ready? So we're starting on five right now. Pecking order. Three, two, one, go. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decisions? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. And what if she doesn't? <laughs> For enough money, she will. People always do. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Ooh. Mm, so that's what we saw. Off a K, K down. 500 what? meters. Oh, the 500 uh, meter spot. Is that yeah. where he scanned it? Okay, right. Yeah. And you got Paul Toggle's uh, log two, right? Dilemma? Yes. Three, two, one, go. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever not that the Gazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> okay, couple of things first. First, whoever they've got in to do these voice acting or the, the voice lines it's for this, great. they've done it's such amazing. a perfect job. Second, yep. uh, the lithium is obviously going to be something that we need for the Cyclops. That's what they're hinting at there. Uh, third, did you catch when he just said about swapping out his liver for another 80 years of life? How cool yeah, is that? Just so a tiny that's taste. Something, uh... Yeah. Of what, what they could do is. in the future. How they can yeah, prolong life crazy. with better medical. Oh, it's so good, that. Um, and, I just uh, want to check something while you're talking. Said something about uh, what is uh, n what knocked the gas out of the sky. We kind of know that now, right? Yep. Uh, if it is, I mean, when they shot, they did shoot the ship. And yeah. it, exploded it sounds like the they've, uh, they've all been shot down, like you, uh, you yeah. thought in the last episode. I'm trying to find. Where was the alien data? Was it that one? Scan. Force field, terminal. So it's called the Enforcement Platform Schematic. 
Right, so here's where it gets a little bit spoilery. And uh, this is kind of what we touched on before. Somebody said in my comments um, something about quarantine. So I'm guessing that the whole quarantine thing, because it's mentioned a bacteria, right, called the Kara. And mm -hmm. that weapon is stopping people coming to this planet. It's are, yeah. are people are, is something here quarantined, or is, is the planet under quarantine? Have, wait, wait, it's the planet actually under quarantine. That might be it, dude, because we are infected. We got infected, yeah, we're still infected. really early on. Yep. So, although that is a spoiler, it kind of connects the dots a little bit. I'm not saying to anybody watching the videos, please don't spoil it, guys. Again, obviously, you know not to do that. Majority of people know not to do that, but. I know a lot. There was a few people, a handful of people that were talking about yeah, something if you quarantine. Get excited and you want to tell us, sit on your goddamn hands, <laughs> please. Don't. At the end of the day, we know that people get excited and they want to help us. It's true. Yeah. But uh, please it, don't spoil uh, it. It does ruin it for us because we we want to keep this as genuine. Yeah, as organic as, as possible. Yeah. The problem with that is when people do want to help, it turns into a spoiler and they don't really realize they're doing that. And all it really mm -hmm. does is it makes you avoid the comments and not interact with people after the episodes. And I love, I know yeah. you love doing that too. So yeah, yeah it just, it just ruins and, the uh, thing, but. Yeah, because if uh, it ruins the, the, um, the recording for us as well, because we need to, I mean, it's not genuine. Yeah, we, not, you're uh, not going to force anything. It just no. There's no point in carrying on if you do it that way. What was I looking for there? Oh, 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 we need to... Uh, the, what was the thing we needed to look at making? The weapon? What was it called? Stasis uh, rifle. The, the, Stasis the, rifle. The, 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 let's see. And then we're going to go over to the Aurora. Welcome Are you ready? Aboard, yeah, I think so. Do you... Uh, whoa, whoa, wait. Let's see. Computer. Oh, we need magnetite, dude. Oh my fuck off! What? <laughs> what? You played that, you shit! Played what? The sound of the. Oh my god, I can't believe you. Come here. Wait, dude, did you hear something? <laughs> Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was I about help to myself. flip my table, dude. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh, battery, nice. Just going through all these boxes. Oh. Do you hate me? Uh, <laughs> sorry. No. Sorry. Just uh, hurt my back. Oh, yeah, your back. Yeah. When you when you know when you get scared and you tense up. Oh, you so you go up. from a so you go from a shitty uh, posture up to like straight in your back. And Dude, like, quit complaining. <laughs> go first. Get in the Aurora. <laughs> This is exciting, by the way. It's really exciting. Um, it is very, very terrifying. Ooh, that's loud. I I don't want the Reaper to be here, you know? If it's anywhere, it'll Ooh. be off to the left there. So stick, stay tight in right to the Aurora. Oh, look at the lights there. That's cool. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'm a little bit stressed out. Shut your mouth. What's that sound? <laughs> Can you hear like a, like, a, like a hum? Is that the Aurora like breaking into pieces? Probably. Oh, I don't like going first here, dude. Oh, here we go. It's shaking. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Let's get inside. This was the... Yeah, this, this is it. This is where it's all broken up. Is this where we can get in? Yep, up here. You this see way? it? You see it near me? Up here? I'm here, I'm here. Oh, you're I'm in? in? Nice, I'm nice. In. Ooh, you good? Yep, I'm oh, in. Oh, it's shaking. It's all breaking apart. Oh, we got spiders here, dude. Take the Space head off. Spiders. Rip them to pieces. Pull the legs off. Dude, just run. Oh, he's hunting you. <laughs> oh, we mean. Oh, no, Fisk. Oh, my Where God. Fisk, I'm in space. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You're 300 oh. meters out. Are oh, you my okay? God. I'm about to get calm. It's so hard for playing that, that Reaper Leviathan thing to you now. Yes. Did you see yes. how far away it propelled me then? <laughs> don't don't stand on the crab fisk, whatever you do. Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. It's pitch black as well. I so, that's karma Dude, so that hard. Was, yeah, that I, I, I Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that. I deserve that. That's 
That's fair. Actually, no. No, I yeah, don't yeah, deserve yeah. that. No, no. You do. no. The people at home not, do not know what you've been doing to me. What? You know. <laughs> what? You know. No. You just missed it, dude. You just missed it. <laughs> it's an inside joke that no one's ever going to get, but you don't know. You don't know the thoughts you've been putting know. me through. Uh, you know what? There we go. Oh my God, that me. The Reaper Leviathan can now, he's grown <laughs> legs, dude. <laughs> right, let's avoid those crabs then. Oh, there's one next to you there. Have you, uh, have you got your fire extinguisher ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wait, the crabs have got the bacteria too. Are they actually, yeah. oh wait, I thought they were like metal or something. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, they're stanking on me, dude. <laughs> Get it. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Oh, the Aurora had a black box like a plane. PDA right here. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Where did you go? Oh, uh, good I'm with you. Are we going down to Cargo Bay? Yeah. We have administration right here as well. All right, let's go to administration first, and then we'll go lower. I don't know how much time we've got. I don't even know if this thing sinks, by the way. Oh no, I don't want it to sink. It might. It might sink. I don't know. All right, I'm going to squirt this. Yeah, squirt the thing. I think we both got to do it. Ah, I'm fire. Ah. Why, are you, why did you run into it? Oh, I'm fire. Ah, I'm fire. <laughs> Another PDA. Nice. Oh, look at this, dude. New PDA data. Rising oh. above the competition. Prawn suit. MK3. Mark three. Yep, that's the Mark three prawn suit. Put this that out. is so cool. Oh, I've run out of fire extinguisher. No. We might need more then, eh? Yeah, we need uh, to find some more. We have... Uh, okay, data terminal. Should I download it? Yep, yep. Let's get get all of that good stuff. All right, let's uh, focus on this when we get back to the pod then. Just making sure there's nothing... Right, there's batteries here that you're missing. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm giving it to you because okay. you, you never miss Ow! anything. <laughs> you just run straight into, into the fire. Right, we're going through the uh, cargo bay. Yeah, let's go down. Is there anything in here? Wait, I'm going to switch is this there out. Anything? What? Can we actually go? I don't know if we can get down there. No, no, no. Here. 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 Is there a way through? Oh, wait. We can't crouch, can we? You too thick? Yeah, I'm too thick, dude. Maybe we can't get through it then. Uh, Is there another I way really, through? I really want... <gasps> oh, I really want it to be bigger. Wait, wait, wait. I know why we need the propulsion cannon. To move the debris. Are we actually able to do that, do you think? I think so. Let's go back and make it real quick and yep. we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be back with you guys in a second. Ah, fire! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Oh, uh. What? Deep pool, deep pool. What? There's oh. water! Oh! <laughs> Didn't like that at all, dude. That scared the living <laughs> shite out of me. What is down there? That's some kind of reactor or something. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go... Oh, do we need a laser cutter to get through these? Wait, no. Oh, PDA. There we go. Integrating new PDA data. There's so much that we've got here. Nothing Ooh. we can uh, scan? Uh, not really, no. Oh, oh, there's out, a code. Out, okay? There's a code to get in this room, and then we need the laser cutter. For Have you got the laser cutter on you? Uh, no. Damn. Ouch! Don't go near the electric! <laughs> Ooh. Wait, but uh, if we need a, a PDA, you might hold one of the codes then. Yeah, let's have a look then. So, we have public documents. Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the uh, Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. Ariadne arm, that's a cool. Is that a name of a part of space, I guess? Lab access. If you need to tweak your equipment, please use the mod station in the forward section or retrieve pre-configured equipment from the lab next door to the data coil. The door code is 6483. 6483. Ooh. But we need, you said we needed uh, something for it, right? No, I'm going in. I'm too excited, dude. I need to know. 6483. 6483. Are you with me? I'm with you. I'm with you me in there. Whoa. Oh. oh, this is the one we can open. All right. I Six, four, eight, three. We in? We're in. We're in. We're in. All right, scan everything. Scan shit, dude. Pick up microscope. What? 
Is there anything you can- Oh, we got a counter. <laughs> we got a counter here, Fisk. Nice, dude. Look at that. Nice big counter. Another PDA. God, there's so much for us to find. Is there there's no bomb so stuff? There's so much information in here. A download Another terminal. Door opening it. Repulsion cannon. Oh, this goes deep, I think. No, no, that's just the other side of it. Oh. Was detected on Wait. Your oh, it's underneath. Can we get air there? Oh, you can. Yeah, this is where we came from. So you can just go right... Yeah, so you can't go... We could have just gone around this way, but it wouldn't have opened. Okay. Right, let's go back yeah, in there then and see if, we, if there's anything we missed. Because <laughs> no doubt we uh, did. Yeah, we got a uh, data terminal. Yeah, I've already got that. Oh, okay. Come on, then work out the next code. No, I can't. What? What do you mean? No, you can't. Why? I'm too stupid, dude. Left-handed. Yeah, I'm left-handed too now. I wasn't able to even find it when you... Oh, there you go. What is that sound? Fisk, what's that sound? I don't know. We're going to find out when we go in there. <laughs> okay, never again, okay? <laughs> never again when we go... <laughs> You've been... Puberty has been, like, <laughs> rampant through you today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lab access. So we use six four eight three live pod. Note to self. Okay, so here we are, uh, finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? Uh, a used wait, birthday. Wait, you reading now? Uh, oh, okay. It says note to self. Uh, one four five four cargo bay door. One four five four. Got it, dude. Did you do it all on your own, Fisk? Yeah, I did. So proud of you. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, be super careful in here. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I deserve that. No, I don't, because I got, I got, like, threw away by the crab. <laughs> We're playing those games. You, you, know, you know what? You, you open these kind of worms. No, yeah. no, no, no. You started this with no, playing no, no. the reaper noise. Yeah, no, no. You, you caused all of this. <laughs> Transco Ooh. profile. Integrating new PDA data. One of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies Ooh. and consumer electronics in the Federation, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked among the galaxy's best employers, began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid 22nd century. National motto get what you deserve. <laughs> That's me to you. <laughs> Seamoth Bay? Wait. Drive room? Hey! <laughs> Why are you so slow? <laughs> I wish this pulsing kind of work, dude. I'll be firing you so hard off the edge of this right <laughs> now. Into the water, <laughs> yep. thunk. I, uh, I kind of knew there was a Seamoth Bay in here. Somebody spoke up before yeah? me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just remembered. Dude, that's it. Because I see how you, how much you love this. Yeah. You're such a nerd. I know. But you're a kid, a kid on Christmas. <laughs> And when someone actually tells you what's to come, that's just, it, it ruins me. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. But let's, uh, let's continue on. What's that? Uh, uh nothing. Fisk? Nay. Fisk? There's stuff in the- What is that? A bleeder? Yeah, no. Nah. Uh, alright, dude. That's so weird looking. We need the uh, repair tool, right? Uh, I have a repair tool. Uh, which one do I not wait? I'm all over it, Fisk. Where are you? I'm, I'm underneath. I'm repairing oh. everything. You're so sure. Whoa! Oh. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, we need to scan, right? Some lockers. A PDA here. Dude, VR, VR suit VR log? Suit whoa, whoa, planes. whoa, what is that? Data. VR suit log loading program. Desert Island Drama V rat. Size three players. Resources normal. Spawning players on beach. What is this? Wait, is it? It's like, um. Uh, oh, it's just VR, is it? I don't, maybe. I don't know. It is, I mean, we have Bay 1 and 2. Do you think that's how we learn how to do the Seamoth sort of thing? Wait, Player 1 has been washed away by an unusually high tide. Player 2 has traded a coconut with Player 3 for 10 credits. <laughs> player 3. It's like, it's, it's just a log. It's a server log. VR survival. Oh my god, what is this? Is this Whoa. the drive core? 
And did you grow cool? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I just... I envy you, dude. You're so excited about this. It's really cool. <laughs> you look like this. This is so yeah, interesting. No, this is really, really cool, actually. Oh, repulsion cannon applies percussive force to entities in, in range. Percussive. Yeah, so it hits them away, right? Yeah, okay, that's what that is. The repulsion cannon hits things away. Wait, thermal blade? Wait, why, do we, why does it say one of one there on thermal blade? Wait, have we unlocked that? We shouldn't have. I mean, I'll take it if we found it some, yeah, somewhere yeah, along the way. Sure. It says we've got the Cyclops too, but it's still not like got it yet. Oh no, there's Wait, the there's... module. There's the module. Okay. Yeah, we, we still need one, right? Radiation levels decrease in Fisk. Oh, wait, 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 yes! Because it's radiated around their aura, right, isn't it? We repaired the core, so the radiation is uh, is going away now. So, do you remember when we swam, uh, swam <laughs> behind the aura? Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. Done. I do. It's fine. Yeah, so that, that should be gone now. All right. We're, go we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to submerge. Oh, that, oh that's. Oh my God, that's sh my shadow. <laughs> Come on, I'm going. <laughs> Jesus, yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, don't get caught on the pipes, fist. Don't get caught on the pipes. This reminds me of uh, you know Windows 95, that uh, <laughs> screensaver. <laughs> yep, yep. I don't know Dude, where what we're is going. This. I don't. Get, come get some air. Come here. Uh, this way where everything is burnt. Right here. Yep, we got a box. Watch out, dude. Oh, here uh, we go. Oh, Fisk! A... <gasps> Look up! Oh, no, no, no way, dude! How do you get up there, though? There we go. Can we get up this? Oh, no, I can't get up here. How do you get up this? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Nice. <laughs> so we got dude, a prawn suit there. Many things? Oh, there's so many new things, dude! Yeah, this episode's had it all. <laughs> yep, the only yep. thing we need, though, is the old locker room. Wait, repair, repair tool? Repair. I'm all over that. The only thing we need is that, that Cyclops hull fragment, and then we'll, we'll be golden. Yep, 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 yep. Wait. Why are you not opening, then? Oh, it's coming. What is? No. Hello? Yeah, no, I've repaired it fully. I just... I don't know. Maybe it didn't open. Let's see if I need to do something. Uh, I'll have a look around. Oh, look at all these amazing prawn suits on fire. No. Power cell. Take that. Oh. Fisk. Oh, breach. What? Wait, what no I've way just found. you can get into that? Nope. But we got it, dude, if we oh. want to make it. What? Yep. The we whole got, suit? We got the suit if we want to make it, Fisk. Oh, no way. I can become Iron Moon. <laughs> <laughs> you can become dude, Arun that's Moon. So sick. Are you moving all the uh, the bits? Yeah, dude, nice. I'm so excited about this. We are what? end game right now, dude. <laughs> I told you you'd like this. Oh, you got so many people at the beginning saying, "Oh, you're so." Na Where are you going? Oh, huh? <laughs> so many people at the beginning saying you're being so nasty making Fisk play this. I knew you'd like it. Aurora Black Box Data initiated a slingshot maneuver around planet 4546B. So they tried to do a slingshot around here. Um, oh. High velocity energy pulse detected on the planet. There you go. That's the uh, that's the oh. weapon. Emergency distress signal sent to Altera listening boy via long range comm relay. Impact detected. Life pod bays on starboard side compromised. Outgoing communications compromised. Emergency evacuation initiated. Manual pilot, manual piloting transfer to Captain Hollister. Right, remember that name, Captain Hollister. Yep. Life pods at one to twenty-five launched successfully. So there should be twenty-five pods around this uh, I, this planet. Then. Dude, I don't know how many we've got, but it's nowhere near that much yet. No. Massive impact. Drive core shield compromised. Emergency bounce backs. Human life signs detected. Personnel unaccounted for. Non-essential systems maintenance chief Riley Robinson. That's us. That's us. So we were a maintenance chief. Hell a yeah, maintenance dude. tech. I said that. Somebody corrected me in the comments saying we weren't. We were uh, we were something else. Yeah, you said they said you were a janitor. Yeah, I was a janitor. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Altera HQ rescue solution received 
Uh, eight hours, high priority terminal, captain's... Oh, no! <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Okay, so... We're gonna bring other people in. <laughs> wait, what? I think we left a distress beacon, didn't we? Didn't it say that? Distress beacon? I don't know. So we're gonna bring other people in for that cannon just to absolutely melt them again. <laughs> oh, imagine. This is your That's fault. Great. What did you do? I did. I did left-handed. Another PDA. Uh, but, is it the drive core? Uh, it didn't show anything. Oh, maybe you've already come through here, this area. Have you already been down here? Uh, we, uh no. It didn't. This is where you were. It didn't show anything out there. Uh, some yeah, water. Six. Uh, uh back what, up. What, what? Back up. I'm systematically checking it. Dude, what about the code? I'm trying to find the code. Uh. I don't know where I've checked though now because you've you've just touched everything, dude. It's all ruined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruined. With my, with my tongue. Uh, how are you doing with the uh, drink and stuff? Are you good? Ooh, I took a poster. Uh, yeah, I'm all good. Huh? I took a poster too. Oh well, wait, have you been in seven? You have, right? Yep. So question is, how my dude? Wait, what? I can't. Oh, I thought I could move the stuff there. Yeah, we need a code for that then, don't we? Cabin one, yeah. Right, let's go. Prawn, prawn bay and locker room. Right. Can Did you just hurry up? Down here? Dude, I'm doing this as fast as I can. <gasps> There's something in the water with us. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's one of those bloody... Blo bloody... Dude. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> oh my lord, go in. I'm in. I'm gonna get some air. Right, what we got? Ooh. First aid, PDA. Ooh. Sweet offer. Right. Integrating new PDA data. You're telling me you've been on this rig more than a year and you never took a ride on the outside. Well, now you've only gone and gotten yourself a friend with the Integrating keys to a giant friggin' robot suit. Hell yeah, dude. We plain got nothing to do. We'll get a star side. On suit's got your name on it. You don't know what the power feels like till you've crushed an asteroid with your bare, heavily Ooh. mechanical, augmented hands. Want to play catch with a passing meteor? Come to cabin one. Code is 1869. Yes. 1869. 1869. That's the one that we needed. Uh, I found another PDA as well. Okay. Um, is there anywhere else we can... Or anything else we can scan? Uh, I haven't seen anything. Oh, there we go. Is that the PDA you found? What was the other PDA? What did it say? Uh, mission details, I think it was. Uh, let's Settle go up here. Degassi survivors. Mission orders. Yeah, we'll read that later. Come in. This has been really, really cool being inside the really, Aurora. Really, there's so much information, though. It's insane. Oh, I'm on that. I got that. I can repair it. Yeah. Wait, can I get there? Come on. Come on. What did you? What did I say the code was? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm dyslexic, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, look. We're here. Huh? Oh, so this was the one that we weren't able to open before. Responsible autonomous relationships. All good things in life are commodities. We trade love just as we buy and sell stock. We engage in human relationships when there is a fair exchange of value. Support, motivation, affection. Nothing good is ever free. If ever physical good in the Federation came from a single supplier, it would constitute a dangerous monopoly. Okay, yeah, he's, he's talking like, if one member of a relationship should feel threatened or jealous, they must look at their own business model and ask whether it's performing competitively. There's always room for improvement. I'm going to read all of this. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have some Aurora Auxiliary Mission Order. We we have something... Uh, aux auxiliary Mission Order. Okay. What? What? Yeah, read it. No, you read it. I'm no, just realized it's, it's I'm reading everything. So much. No, yeah, you I got read. Dyslexia, dude. It doesn't matter. Read. I'm Swedish dyslexic and left handed. I'm, I'm me too. I am Swedish, also dyslexia, and also left handed. Uh, well, what about the code for the captain's quarters, dude? We didn't get that. Huh? Or at least we haven't found it. Is there anywhere else we haven't opened up yet? Oh, we have a distress call. Fisk, we have a distress Come call. Come on, man. 
Dude, you're so even shorter now. Am I really? <laughs> yeah. It's, you're like uh, down yeah, to your kneecaps You're floating now. though. You're not actually stood on the pod. You're like... Oh, no, I do. I am. No, I am. no, no, you're not. You're up. You're super short. Shh, bitch. This may be your only communication window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there. So Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's computer. sandwich run. You in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. <laughs> right, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should and be... If she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay. The code... I'll say regular. She's like, what's the regular? Is that Neebs? The is that Neebs gaming? Two, six, seven, nine. The regular's just a ham and Oh, cheese. there you go. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? Ham dude, and cheese? That's, I think okay. that's Neebs. That's so good. I getting, like that call. Yeah, I'm getting really excited. If, have you ever seen? Uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. You'll know. You'll know who they are. They're amazing. Yeah, 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 I know. I know who they are. Um, high security terminal captain's quarters. Oh, there we go. The code now. <laughs> yeah, we got the code now. But I think that's seven, uh, nine, we yeah. can go back for that uh, another day. Yep, definitely do that next time. You're so short. It's so fun. To Shut see your mouth. Short, I'm not dude. short, dude. All right, I'm stealthy. That's what it is. <laughs> You're right. Stealthy. So we discovered a lot more about the Degassi and the crew members. We've got a crap load more tech that we can do. I think what we are going to do to try and get a little bit ahead of stuff, I know this might not be what some people want to hear, but for the sake of making sure we see as much as possible in the time frame that we've got, we want to stick on track with the storyline. And as much as like gathering things is cool, and I know you guys get a laugh out of me and you, me and Fisk arguing all the time. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is do a lot of prep work off screen. So then when it yep. comes to the episodes, we can obviously just go on our adventures and find out a lot more about what's going on or how to maybe get off this planet. We're again, just so. ready to go kind of deal. Yeah. So we got the prawn suit. We've got, we still need to find the whole fragment for the Cyclops. We've got a bunch of upgrades now and we've got the working Seamoth as well. And we've got a little bit of a workaround if the mod starts acting up as well, which the progression today has been bueno. Yeah, it's been cool. I've really enjoyed this so far and we can go back yep. in in the next episode and find out in the captain's quarters what's going on in there. So... If you guys are enjoying this, and we know, we know it's really difficult not to spoil it, guys, but either way, we do appreciate you not putting spoilers in the comments. Little helpful tips every now and again are fine, but please, please, please don't spoil it. If you have stuck with us this far, thank you so much. Subscribe to stay up to date with everything, and as always, we'll see you all in the next one.